off the red nose reindeer had a very shiny nose and if you ever saw it you could even say it glows all of the other reindeers used to shine in my names oh poor poor rudolph you just shine a shiny day day one shiny christmas eve said is it shiny or cloudy My name's JC. And I'm Bethany. And we are the Savages. It's Christmas. Not yet. Almost. <laughs> I think what, two more weeks? Mm-hmm. I remember. Who's doing this? Are you guys hiding the elf and switching it? Oh, that's the thing that the people do? Yeah. I didn't know about that. What do you do? You go and you put the elf somewhere else every day. Uh-huh. Every night, you know, and then the kids wake up and they have to find the elf. Like, what do you mean, on Christmas or before Christmas? No, this whole time right now. Oh, I didn't know Leading that. Leading up to Christmas, yeah. Mexicans don't do that. I oh, know. It's okay. We just hide from ice. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's so but I did sing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer when I was like in third, third or fourth you grade. You did? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I wear many, many hats. He, he I'm says a trade. he's a chameleon. I'm a chameleon. He's a chameleon. Red off the red nose reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you could even say it glows. All of the other reindeers used to shine in my names. Oh, poor, poor Rudolph. You just shine a shiny day. Day one shiny Christmas Eve. Said, is it shiny or cloudy? Then one foggy Christmas oh. Eve. I don't know, but I used to be like the star singer. <laughs> I don't believe yeah. it. I don't believe it. Do you believe it? <laughs> I don't. That should be your thing. Well, you know, I did have a phone call from Dancing with the Stars. For singing? Oh, no, it was the other one. <laughs> A uh, voice. The voice. I turn, I turn both of them down, cause why? I just have too much to do right now. Too much, too much to do. It's crazy right now. Really? I'm trying to take it all in. Yeah, well, I turned down Victoria's Secret because of you. Yeah. He wouldn't let me do it. Yeah. Holidays has been a tough one with everything that's going on. It's been, it's been a tough year. You know, not just, uh, you know, with. COVID, but people losing their jobs and not being able to get with their together with their families and just everything. We hope that we've made a little bit of a difference, you know, providing you with a couple of smiles, laughs, uh, sharing our shenanigans. And yeah, it's definitely not easy, especially now that the holidays are coming up, you know, and people are still struggling with not having an income you know and they have to buy gifts and stuff like that so it's it's something that we just want we made this channel you know not not knowing you know everything that was gonna happen but we feel like you know whoever is watching that we're hoping that you guys are laughing and having a good time and it's you know distracting you from the world and what's going on yes and uh we are actually gonna have a holiday Q and A tonight. We're gonna go live on our channel. We were supposed to do it when we got a thousand subscribers, but we like we like to do everything last minute. <laughs> we both do. So today, join us at 4 p.m. We're gonna have the live uh, Q and A, and we just want to talk about what what are you doing for the holidays? You know, what what? How did you make up for? I guess. Lost income, lot like just everything. It's very, very important that you take care of your, of your mental health, your addiction, and, and all the stuff that we have going on during the holidays. Because I know that most of my DUIs were actually caught around Christmas. Did you know that? No. Yeah, they around weren't. the holidays. Yeah. Well, it was a hard time. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people think about 
all the things that they went through in their life, you know, and especially during the holidays, if you weren't raised, you know, to do things on the holidays or there were memories of bad holidays, you know, that can take you. Take somewhere. you to a dark place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take you to a dark place. And I know it firsthand, guys. Like, you know, like I said, most of my DUIs are actually caught on. One was on the 24th, one was on New Year's, and I think the other one was a couple weeks before Christmas. How many? Three. Three. And most of my holidays were spent in prison. So, um, you know, it's just, it's very, very important that you, you keep a very, very, like, strong check on your mental health, your addiction, you know, uh, if you're fresh out of prison, just all these things, because we know this is a hard time. And not everybody is as blessed as some people you know so we just hope that we could give you a piece of our home our heart and make it a little bit better with a couple of laughs and our shenanigans mm -hmm. and the way that we just we live our lives yeah this is gonna be um actually a tough a tough um christmas also for uh for beth you know she you know that she is actually divorced and it's when uh you have to split the kids up and yeah that's not this is gonna be the first year that I'm having to actually split my children and only see my son one day instead of two days. You know, so that's something that I know a lot of people can relate to. And it's definitely not, it's definitely not easy, but I'm gonna make the best of it. And, um, you know, my holidays weren't so great in the past years, you know, especially growing up being by myself sometimes, you know, so I, I'm very grateful right now for everything that I have, you know, and that's something that we have to think about, you know, is what we have now and make the best of it. Yep. Look at the cup half full, not half empty. Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of people out there that are homeless. There's a lot of people out there that are struggling every day with their mental health, addiction, alcoholism. I mean, you name it. There's a lot of things, man. So. Uh, like we always say, you have to do the work in order to get better. If you don't do the work, ah, then you know, you're gonna struggle a little bit harder than most people. Yeah, and if you think of the wrong things, you know, it can lead you to a whole different place in your mind. You know, you have to think positive thoughts. That's the biggest thing is always keeping yourself positive and seeing what's good and not seeing what's bad. Yep. You know, there's a lot of good out there. That's what got me uh, all those DUIs because I would start to think, oh, I never had a Christmas. I never had a Christmas. And you know what happened? I would catch those, those DUIs or I would go back to prison and I would actually think myself into not having that next Christmas because I would, I would keep playing that, that victim role that I, oh, this happened to me or that happened to me. And you actually, remember, you become what you think of you. You're like, if you think of yourself as being a, a piece of shit or this and that, you actually become that. So you actually have to think positive and think about what you have and not what you don't have. And just be grateful and blessed, you know? If you know that you're struggling with your addiction, go, go hit a meeting. If you need some spiritual guidance, go, go to service. There's, there's a ton of things you could do instead of actually sitting there and just thinking bad, bad, bad all the time. And that's one thing that I, I, I have to say that I'm very blessed that Beth has taught me in many, many ways is that being positive, because I was a pessimist at all, at 100%. All I did was fuck this, fuck that. And it, it actually becomes you. Yeah. Well, you want more and more and more, you know, and nothing's ever good enough. And then you forget about what you do have, you know, and we have to remember that. That's the biggest thing. I always say it's not about what happened. It's about, about you know, it's about what's going on now. And you make the best of your life. Nobody else does. You know, it's you. So you heard it here, guys. We are the raw, uncut, raw, raw, no, raw, raw, uncut. Unfiltered couple. <laughs> the savages. Salvajes. The salvajes. <laughs> Please join us today at 4 p.m. for a QA. Please, guys, if you have nothing positive to say, I know. Please. I am a woman. Don't start <laughs> your shit. We're trying to do something nice. Mm -hmm. Don't ruin my moment. Because I will go look for you. No, you won't. Hmm? <laughs> you won't.
Hmm. My name's JC. And I'm Bethany. And we are the Savages. I chose the life I'm living. I heard trapping in it. Turn the world.